Hello everyone, this video is for IBPS SO IT Officer Aspirants and in this video we will be discussing about the important sections of the examination and some sample questions which would help you to uh, crack the exam. Let's move on to the questions and the topics. The first important section is database management system. As we all know, the maximum portion, the maximum questions would be covered in database. It would cover SQL and also transaction part also. The second most important is data communication and networking. When we talk about data communication and networking, uh, you there are some questions from cloud computing also. So you would be uh, there. You should be thorough with the topics of basics of cloud computing. And there will be some question from computer organization and architecture. There would be some questions from data structures and compiler design. And the two other important things are software engineering and enterprise resource planning. These two subjects are also important because there would be around five questions from these two. And the next topic is operating systems. And there would be some question uh, related to internet awareness. So internet awareness, it would contain the browsers and uh, basic uh, HTML and those type of things would be there in internet awareness. And there are some basic programming language questions. Programming language means that may be from Java also, that may be basic C++ also. So basic questions would be there. So these are the important topics for IBPS SOIT officer. Let's see some questions, some sample questions from these topics uh, so that you can prepare according to them. Let's move on to the first question. The first question is dash refers to the contracting of specific business task to a third party service provider. So this is a part, this question is a part from enterprise resource planning. So the answer is business process outsourcing. So let's say what, uh, discuss other things. So in this one term is uh, known as insourcing. So outsourcing is when we are providing the specific business start to third party service provider. So that is outsourcing and we are, when we are getting the business, when we are taking the business, that is insourcing. So the answer is business process outsourcing only. Another term is known as cross-functioning. It is also very important. Now what is this cross-functioning? Uh, the cross-functioning is when a group of people with different functional and uh, expertise, that is uh, someone, a uh, group of people with different qualities, they work together for a common goal. So this type of uh, thing is known as cross-functioning. That is, uh, all. Uh, suppose we have three persons and they are good at three different functions, doing three different things. And when they all work together, this is known as cross-functioning. Okay. So, for this, for this question, our answer is business process outsourcing. Let's move on to the next question. A rollback command in transactions. So it is a DBMS question. So what does actually a ro rollback do? So we have, we would uh, uh, define a previous state. For example, uh, we have uh, done a state T1, which is a safe state or which is a, a stable state. state. So uh, let the state be S1 only. Uh, so it is a stable state. And after some time, after some period of time, suppose there's a, a breakdown occurs or something occurs. So we'll um, change the state of the system to the, the safe state or the state which was stable. So that is what actually rollback is. So let's see which option goes through it. Thus, the, uh, under the effect of last update command, not only the last update command, it, it uh, can undo the effect of so many commands. So it is not the uh, true. The process of restoring a database or a program to a previously defined state typically to recover from an error. Okay, this is our answer. Okay, let's see the next one. Does nothing. Yes, roll back, do something. Restore the contents of the database to state at the end of the previous day. So we cannot date as the, uh, the state is the previous day. It is any state which is defined earlier. So this is also not true. Make sure that all the changes to the database are in effect. So this is also not true. So the thing is B. So B is our answer. Next. What type of viruses virus uses computer host to reproduce itself? So uh, I'll tell you the answer. The answer is warm. So uh, this is warm. It uh, you use the host computer to reproduce itself and it reproduce until the memory of the host computer is uh, not full. So warm can reproduce. It has the power to reproduce. So what are the next three things? What is a time bomb? Time bomb is a software that start that will start or stop functioning after predefined um, date or time. Okay, so it is a type of logic bomb. We can say time bomb is a type of logic bomb. Uh, 
logic bomb is a software that will uh, execute when a particular logical condition is satisfied that is a logic bomb and time bomb is a part of logic bomb it is a part of logic bomb and it executes at a particular time predefined time suppose we have viewed set a time and it has to execute at 10 am so it will execute at 10 am so this is what time bomb is now another important uh, term here is melisa virus now what actually is the melisa virus it is a fast spreading macro virus so melisa virus is a macro virus and it is distributed as a email email attachment melisa virus is a macro virus which is distributed as a email attachment with generally it, it actually generally uh, infects the word files word files especially of 97 and 2000 so this is what a melisa virus is it is a macro virus now what actually is this macro virus it is a mini program that can infect a particular system okay so that is the macro virus is a program it is a macro that can affect a system so this is what it is all about this for this the answer is warm it can uh, reproduce itself in the host computer unless it has the memory next dash stores information about the data in the database obviously it is data dictionary it stores the it stores all the metadata information of the database so it is data dictionary okay next okay or here the data mining is it is knowledge discovery process we can say it is knowledge discovery in database or kdd process or it contains extract load and transform these are the things so for this our answer is data dictionary next the program that allows the operating system to work with the printer or a video card is an okay see here it is we are so talking about a program so it is a software so we are talking about a software if it was a hardware a hardware that allows the operating system to work with the printer or the video car video card it would be our answer would be a die driver but in this case we are talking about a software when it is software, it would be a system call. Okay, it is a call which is made by the operating system uh, in order to connect a printer or a video card, in order to connect a hardware devices. Uh, next question. The system call is the answer. Next question. When you visit certain websites, spyware may be automatically downloaded and this is called okay whenever suppose uh, uh, you want to download something else but uh, you click on that but along with it any other file would be download so this type of things is known as drive by download sorry drive by download so it is driven by download whenever you download something it would be automatically downloaded so this is drive by download uh, logic bomb I told you what is it okay so uh, we all know what is virus is so next thing a program that performs a useful task while simultaneously allowing destructive acts is known as okay for this the uh, uh, answer is torsion horse okay what torsion horse actually does it for you it would look like a file which is a useful file it may be a video player or it may be audio player or it may be a pdf to word converter anything can be it would be disguised as a program which is very useful to you but actually it would be a destructive uh, program it would uh, do something some harm to your uh, computer these type of programs are called tors and horses okay, next what is the name of an application program that gathers user information and send it to someone through internet so this is a program we are talking about application program okay what does it do it gathers the user information and send it to someone through internet so it is a type of spying so it is a spy bot that's why i didn't explain it on the earlier question because we had a question related to this so this is a spy bot we all know what is logical bomb is we all know what is viruses so for this the question is spy bot it is an application program it is an application program okay next the thing that eventually terminates a worm is uh, while discussing about a worm i said that worm can self replicate itself in the by using a host computer until there is a space in the computer so the answer is is a lack of memory or disk space if we don't have a memory or a disk space that is if the disk space is full the worm will terminate so this is the only thing that can terminate a worm that is a lack of memory or a disk space 
next thing dash is the term for the use of deception to get someone sensitive information so okay it is like it is like uh, a1 want to get some information from a2 but a2 is but it, he, a1 is not authorized that is a2 cannot give any information to a1 but a2 can give the information to b1 so what a1 would do is a1 it disguised itself as b1 it would disguise itself as b1 and then ask the information from a2 so these type of thing at that time a2 would send no so these type of thing is known as ip spoofing so answer is spoofing ip spoofing so what is this in this one uh, user or uh, one uh, the system it would disguised as the another system so it, it would replicate the ip address of the another system uh, to get some sensitive information and this is known as spoofing next which of the following is a small program embedded with a gif image so i tell the answer it is a web bug web bug is uh, whenever you download a gif image it would be embedded with the gif image so it is a web bug another thing uh, you know spyware application it is spy bot you say as we told so it will send uh, sensitive information to others spam uh, these are the un unwanted mails are known as spam and the next one is cookies uh, so cookies are the messages that is given to web browser by a web server okay so uh, it is sent from a website and stored on a user computer yeah uh, means uh, how could i explain it we have a web browser over here okay whenever you visit a website so uh, the web server would uh, send a program that would be stored on the user's computer okay so cookies are some programs which are uh, given by the um, web server to the web browsers so cookies would be there in the web browsers they would uh, see everything which we do and they will send the information back to the web servers so this is what cookie is B uh, but with the gif gif images we have web bug next dash allow the use of internet connection for making phone calls it is very easy it is voice over ip voip is the answer Okay, next one. Dash is the method that will automatically execute when an object is instantiated. So method, uh, method means we are talking about a function, and this is a constructor. Whenever an object is insta uh, instantiated, whenever we make an object of uh, of a class, we instantiate an object of a class. The constructor is automatically invoked. So the answer is the constructor. We don't have anything as an inheritor. Okay, destructor is used whenever we want to or uh, release the memory. This is destructor. Parameters are the values which are passed to some functions, and overloaded methods are the methods which um, have uh, say a different type of arguments, but uh, they perform same type of functions. So for for this, the the method which is executed when the object is instantiated is a constructor. and the method which is executed when an object is destroyed is known as a destructor so in this case the answer is a constructor next this is a function from uh, this is a question from java or c++ you can say next download downloadable software extensions that add new features to a browser are known as okay as we say cookie are uh, not cookies is not a software it is a message it it is a form of a message which is given to the web browser by the server uh, spam is it's a type of a message only link it, it is actually a path to the uh, another website or another url okay so these are not the options the option is a plugin uh, so plugin uh, it adds extension and new features to the browsers so it is a plugin it is a downloadable software which add new features to the browsers next client side extensions so if if there are some as we say plugin it is also a client side extension so what would we do it would add functionality to the browser so both these questions are related only okay Uh, let's see this one downloadable extensions that are that add new features to the browser are known as plugins that is extension software uh, extensions are adding features to the browser only and in this question also client side means we are talking about the browser because uh, browser would be there in the client side okay the server side server would be there so whenever there is a client side uh, client side extension it would obviously add the functionality to the 
browser so this was the last question uh, please, please say now stay tuned for more updates and for more question like this if you like the video please click the like button and do subscribe thank you